Hello everyone, welcome to the Jcast Network. I'm your host, Aaron Herman. Social justice is embedded into our Jewish DNA. And we had the opportunity to speak to Rabbi Ari Weiss of uh, Uri Litzedek about how his organization is transforming our global community. Let's take a closer look. Whenever you uh, think about building an organization, there is excitement, there's challenges, and then there's the point when you realize you've, you've done it and you've now transformed uh, your local and global Jewish community. Uh, so tell us, uh, you know, your, your experience and your, about your organization. Great. Um, Uri Litzedek is uh, a little over five years old. I, I've been um, working for Uri Litzedek about four years. And what, I, what I've seen over that time is really a dream become a reality. When we started Uri Litzedek, um, there was a dearth of programming um, in the, in the, uh, in so, of social justice programming in the Orthodox community. What we've seen is uh, in the last four or five years, traveling to cities and college campuses, a real enthusiasm for social, for social justice around the country. And, you know, looking at Sandy, and you know the amount of devastation, uh, and, and your organization really has stepped up in a yeah. big way, uh, and uh, you know monitoring like the, the social media feeds and, and seeing what what your organization does. It's really it's impressive because like there's there's uh, you know there's social justice, and then there's that that social justice 2.0, which is so important now. Uh, so talk a little bit about how this uh, how this is being you know done now to help uh, the people of Sandy. Great. Um, I think, um, you know, uh, Sandy is, is a great example of, of the Jewish community and the Orthodox community stepping up. Uh, when the hurricane hit, I think we were all taken by surprise about how, how deeply it impacted the Jewish community in the tri-state area. And right away, Uri Litzedek said, this is something that we had to be involved with. And, you know, Sandy is actually an interesting example because while Sandy is about volunteerism and immediate relief, um, I think it's also an opportunity to ask some of the larger social justice questions about what is poverty in, in this country? What is it like to feel poor? Um, what are, what are, how, do the, how, do, what, how does the city and the state react to, to, um, to, to uh, a, a natural disaster like that? How do they allocate relief? And I think those are some of the deeper questions that Hurricane Sandy exposes. Um, but this, the other point that you, that you mentioned is uh, we're, uh, you know, the current generation is a network generation and, you know, we use social media to connect and identify, um, you know, new opportunities to create justice and fight injustice. And I think so. one thing that, um, that has to be remembered is that, that social media is not an end to itself. Part of what social media is, is it should lead to action, it should lead to engagement, it should lead to uh, volunteerism, and it should lead to fighting suffering and oppression. You've done numerous projects. Is there something that you are really proud of? Uh, yes, uh, you know, for me, um, one of the things I'm really proud of is is the Tava Yosha, our, our ethical seal for kosher restaurants. Uh, we started the Tav because we wanted to change the conversation around uh, a kosher food and some of the um, uh, t cases of uh, exploitation and oppression that that were endemic in the in the kosher marketplace. Not just the kosher marketplace. Anytime you have hourly workers, there's there are cases of exploitation and, and oppression. Um, and we want to create a new standard, not one which was reactive. Of which one, but one that was proactive. We want to make sure that everyone, and we still do, that everyone gets paid at least a minimum wage. Everyone who works in the kosher industry gets paid overtime. Uh, I think we've uh, really shifted the conversation. Over 85 places currently have Tava Yosher across North America, and we are, we are really interested in creating a new standard, and we think together with the, the grassroots enthusiasm and support for this initiative around the country, we're doing that. And having uh, numerous friends who actually are mashkiachs and actually see how much work they put in to uh, ensuring that the, the kosher establishment are up to par yeah. <laughs> as much as they can um, to, to have that standard is, is critical. Um, what, what sort of like motivated you to sort of go in that direction? Uh, well, specifically the the Tavayosha, our, our ethical seal for kosher restaurants, it was um, it was a response to to what happened in um, in Iowa. 
five years ago, uh, a little more than four years ago, in uh, May 12, 2008, when the largest kosher slaughterhouse was found to have people who were children working at the plant, tens of thousands of illegal payroll deductions. But it's something we've seen time and time again. It's not just, you know, what happened at Rubashkin, it's what happened at other places around the country where where, where there are individuals who are being exploited and, and depressed. And we asked the question, how could the food be kosher but not yosher? How could we consume that food? And, I, and as I mentioned, what we, what we care about doing is creating a new standard, one in which the Jewish community, the Orthodox community, could become moral exemplars um, and create, uh, really take a leadership role in, under, in creating a new vision for, for the Jewish community. And you're a Joshua Venture Fellow and uh, it's one of the more prestigious fellowship in the Jewish community. Um, what motivated you? Obviously, like, the, the program is incredible for the financial support and the uh, consulting. And um, how did it feel when you first got that call saying, or email, that you're, you were welcomed in? Great. Um, you know, I and I, I, you know, I think other members of Early Lutzedek feel enormously lucky about uh, and, and, and appreciative of the support that we've received from the, from the Jewish community. We're, we were selected to, uh, as, um, to Bikurim, um, to, the to the Bikurim incubator about five years ago, support, provide us support um, and consulting. We've been in Slingshot now for four straight years. Um, and about three years ago, um, I was selected as a Joshua Venture Fellow. And when I received that call, it was, it was great. Uh, you know, it was really, it was really amazing. I still remember. It was, uh, I think it was a Friday morning, right before Pesach in 2010, and to to hear uh, Lisa say that I was selected, uh, and that Uri Litzedek is a project that you know they wanted to invest a hundred thousand dollars in. You know, was a game changer for us and allowed us to expand across the nation, hire additional staff. Uh, now I'm an alumni of the program, but it's a really great cohort and network to be a part of, uh, and it's something that really allowed us to grow. And you know, I think that our growth isn't isn't stopping. I think that that Uri Litzedek, that Orthodox social justice is really the next wave uh, for, the, for the Jewish community and the Orthodox community. Where do you see your organization in the next two years? Um, so I see us as just uh, expanding some of our core programs and adding new ones. I see us having satellites and affiliates around the country. It's something we're investing in a lot right now. Um, you know, uh, adding, uh, providing added value to, to different organizations or around the country, uh, expand, continuing our expansion in Los Angeles, expanding to other major centers uh, of orthodoxy, and being really a part of um, the Jewish social justice ecosystem. I believe that the orthodox voice uh, within that ecosystem is extremely important to both learn from, from other organizations and other denominations, but also to contribute, you know, uh, the, the orthodox voice. I think that we have something um, very unique to add, and uh, we're really glad to be part of that conversation. Whenever you start an organization and you get this funding, there are always some challenges that come up. Um, how have you faced some of those challenges? Um, yeah, I think, you know, life is, is full of challenges, and I think that's a very good question about how, how do you face them. And I think the way to, to do it is to, is to be deliberate, is to, to think things through, is to consult others who have gone through it before, and that's one of the great things about being part of these cohorts. Um, and it's to realize that challenges are challenges, and they're there, and to name them and to, to accept them, but to also think that, you know, they could be overcome, um, and to really think about how to create solutions. As you can see, Uri Litzedek is an incredible organization that is transforming our local and global Jewish community. This is Arwen Herman, and thank you for watching.